In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in Shoemaker 2015. The first feature we're going to take a look at is in the last import wizard. So the first thing I'm going to do is import a last. So I've just got a STL just saved onto my desktop, so I'm just going to open that up. Okay, so now I'm just going to run it through the last identification wizard, just like in previous versions. So I'm going to select next. I'm then going to identify a few points. So I have the heel top point already selected. So I'm going to go to the heel bottom point just select the bottom. I'm then going to rotate round and do the toe point. And finally I'll just make sure that the cone point is in the correct position and it looks fine. So I'm going to select next. Okay, so here we have um, some new features that have been added. So in the previous versions we were able to control the top curve and the feather curve, but we are now able to control the nodes on the center curve as well as the heel curve. So if I select on this you can see the nodes highlight and I'm able to edit them. So if I just grab one I can move it around. I can also hold down the T key and I can add more points. So if I just extend this down. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that all of my feather curve and my top curve are correct. So I'm just going to move a few points and I'll just make sure the feather curve is correct. Okay, so once I've done this, I also have an area of accuracy. So this was in the previous version, so I was able to control how accurate my surfaces um, that are created by Shoemaker are to the original STL. And I can preview this accuracy using this icon here. So if I select this now, you can now see how accurate uh, the surfaces are. So if I hover over that all in 0, 0.0 um, of tolerance of one another. Okay, so a new icon that we have is this one here. So this one actually gives me a preview of what the surfaces are going to look like when they've been created in Shoemaker. So you can see here this is exactly what my surfaces are going to look like. Okay, so I can carry on through my last import wizard again like normal. Going through the cone point area. I've also got the uh, heel height area, which again, I can change the heel height, select next, select that it's a right foot, and then finish, and then my last is imported. 